Welcome to episode 4 of our walk from Soria to Santiago. In this video we'll be walking from Palas de Rey to Malid. We'll start off this video with a short interview. So this is Angelina, yes, yes. from Torres de Jeremida, which is in... It's in Monterroso. It's on the stage between Puerto Marin and Palas de Rey. And it's lovely and she's an amazing concierge what's your title uh, i'm the hotel director the hotel director yeah, thank you and she's just amazing it's beautiful here and we thank you so much for everything we highly recommend highly recommend a visit here there's we didn't get to use it yet for time there's a sauna and a jacuzzi and just a fitness area and a, a wonderful wonderful restaurant so we highly recommend So it's 12.20, we're just starting. <laughs> That's good. We got nine miles. This is where we left off yesterday, right here. And this is the Camino, right here. And that's where we're going. How far we walk so far? About Five three minutes. blocks. <laughs> we walked about three blocks. Now and it's one o'clock now. Yeah, everybody's eating lunch. The good news about, well, not everybody can leave late, but the good news about leaving late is the Camino's pretty quiet. You don't see many people. Yeah. So you kind of have it to yourself. But it's a shorter day today. We're only doing about, about nine miles. But so far every day that it's the mileage that it said, it's actually been longer, so we'll see how it goes. It's nice to get a good rest. Walking like 28 days? Day 29 today. Day 29. Oh, wow. How's it going? Oh, well, it's <laughs> two more days. It's, it's yeah. It's so, you started in San John, Pier de Port? San John, Pier de Port. Wow. Yes, yes. March 13th. Sunday. Wow. Wow. We've had two days break. Two rest days. Rest, separate days. Two separate rest separate, days. Yes, yeah. two separate rest days. Yeah, wow. And Pamplona and uh, Burgos. This is a nice little spot. We got a long way to go though. Like not just for the Camino.
I didn't use a Camino tour company to make our arrangements for us. In choosing hotels, I relied heavily on TripAdvisor and the reviews by its members. There are some comments on Camino forums looking down on people who stay in hotels. Well, we feel very fortunate to be able to afford hotel stays. And keep in mind that we're supporting the local economy that's been severely hit by COVID. Many people who rely on the Camino for their jobs have been out of work for two and a half years. Look at this view. Well, how are we doing? We're smelling the barn, I think. <laughs> yeah. What's that? How are we doing? We're smelling the barn, you know that phrase? Cows. We smelled the barn a long time ago. <laughs> we have AT&T cell phone service at home, and we used AT&T's International Day Pass for the time we were on the Camino. And during the time of the Camino, we always had phone service and internet connectivity. You've probably noticed in my videos that most people walking from Saria to Santiago aren't carrying heavy backpacks. Many are using a luggage transfer service, even if they're staying in an albergue. For luggage transfers, I use Camino Facil, and I highly recommend them. When we needed to be shuttled back and forth between the Camino and our hotels, we used local taxis that were very available. Uber really isn't available along most of the Camino. Man, we just got caught in a big rainstorm. Oh really God. bad. <laughs> we weren't prepared. We didn't have our stuff on because it was so beautiful. Just started to rain. We took our gear out, but it poured and got us right before. Oh boy. Still beautiful. Man. Well, that was a short-lived rainstorm. It uh, cleared up. It stopped raining just now. Blue sky ahead. And dark clouds over there, though. They're looking for rainbows. Malid was founded in the 10th century and is deeply linked to the Camino. Two Caminos link up here, the Camino Frances and the Camino Primitivo. We spent the night at the Hotel Lux Malid. I became hesitant as we approached the hotel because it's located on a very busy and noisy street. But as soon as we entered the lobby, the noise was gone. The hotel is completely soundproofed, and although our room overlooked the street, it was completely quiet. The room was very clean and functional also. In episode 5, the next video, we walk from the lead to our zoo. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and consider subscribing. Buen Camino.